Hi, I'm Jennifer Marshall Jenkinson, Chairman of the UK Microwave Technologies Association and author of the prize-winning cookbook, Microwave Magic, the Art of 21st Century Cooking. And today I'm going to cook some food for toddlers and I'm going to make a mixed vegetable medley. Now, I've got in this dish just one potato that I've washed and peeled and cut up into approximately one centimetre pieces and I've also got a pumpkin here that's been cut up as well into approximately the same size. I've given them a good thorough rinse through. There's no added water there in my oven proof dish. I'm going to cover the dish with some cling film and I'm going to cook that in the oven for four to five minutes until the potato is just tender. Now, while that's cooking, I'll tell you that I'm also, once the potatoes and pumpkin are cooked together, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of frozen peas and some cooked carrot that I've already chopped up here. I'm going to add a teaspoon of butter and three tablespoons of milk. And I'm just going to mash them together then and put them into ice cube trays. Now, how much do you pay for a jar of baby food in the supermarket? Last time I was in there, a jar of baby food cost in the region of a pound, and that just served one meal. Here, you're making approximately a week's worth of meals for a toddler for under a pound. So not only is your baby having good food, there's no salt in here added, no sugar, no additions whatsoever, just pure vegetables with good nourishing milk and butter added for perfect food for a baby that's not only delicious but it's easy to make for you as well. Now once we put our food in the ice cube trays, two or three ice cubes worth are good for a six month old baby and then you can increase the amount of actual ice cube of uh, portions that you use as the baby gets older and these are then just heated up in the microwave as you need them and stored quite well in the freezer right here's the end of our five minutes of cooking time let's take the dish out gosh it's hot actually and we're going to Remove the cling film. There we are, they're almost cooked through, but it's a perfect time to add two tablespoons of frozen peas and a couple of carrots that I've already cooked and chopped up, a teaspoon of butter and three tablespoons of milk. Now I'm just going to return the cling film here and put this back into the oven just for two minutes to make sure that these vegetables there are then thoroughly cooked. So there we've given our potato, pumpkin, peas and carrots mixed with milk and butter another two minutes to cook, cooking time. Now I say two minutes cooking time this is a 750 watt microwave oven. If your oven is different to 750 watts, it might actually take a little bit longer or a little bit shorter to actually cook the vegetables. Now I've given these a good mash here. Now this has had a good mash. So what I'm going to do is just put spoonfuls of this mashed mixture into my ice cube trays. There we are. As I say, one, one or two ice cubes are perfect for a toddler of six months. And in true Blue Peter fashion, here's some I made earlier and froze in individual ice cube trays so they're just popped in a polythene bag there sealed and you can just get one two three little portions out at a time as and when you need them 
What a great way to serve really nutritious food to a toddler.